Howdy y'all. It's been a minute since I have been fishing. It's been a minute since we've been out here at the pond. I'm gonna explain all that, but today we're gonna keep it super simple. We got a nice float rig and we're gonna catch some fish. We're also gonna do it uncut. So fishes that I catch, fishes, fish that I catch, um, every mess up just like that. Um, snags, bait, all that jazz. You're gonna see it, it's gonna be uncut. Let's go ahead and strap you on the chest and do that. I know you guys are all familiar with this pond. And like I mentioned, we got a nice little float rig right here. Got the bobber stop up here. We got a nice little 180th ounce mule jig, a one inch slotted peg float, but it does have the hole through so you can use it as a slip float. The bead and then of course the bobber stop up here this is a fill um, slip float rig so we got it all squared away on four pound high viz shimano sienna 1000 berkeley lightning rod trout ultralight rod um, we got lures we have worms i just want to catch some fish i don't care what i catch so we're going to cast out here and see what happens but first we got to get rigged up we're going to put a little night crawler on this little mule jig Just gotta open up our nice little bag of tricks here. Right there. And we had some rain come through, lots of rain come through. So I don't think we need a lot of worm. I think these fish, I don't know. It's been two months since I've basically gone fishing. So I don't know what to expect here. What I do know is I have missed fishing and I can't wait to send this out. I have to first open my bail because I don't have enough line. This whole uncut thing's new to me. I always flub over my words. So you're gonna have to forgive me when I mess up, but um, there's a couple of reasons why I wanna do this. The first one being editing um it'll make it easier to edit video if i don't have to comb through a ton of footage and select certain things i mean i still might trim this down into a more compact video but i want to i want to be able to save time on editing make this a little bit more streamlined for a very particular reason there we go, we're all rigged up. That's the other thing we're gonna have to deal with today is this wind. Like I mentioned, we had a huge rainstorm come through. The past couple days, the weather has been nuts. Um, torrential rainstorms. It is February. We gotta loosen up this drag. There we go, that's better. Um, it is February. So it is basically winter time. Um, and I'm in North Carolina, so you guys know wintertime in North Carolina could mean uh, freezing cold temperatures in the morning and then warmed up by lunchtime, which is now. Um, it is post Super Bowl, so if you're watching this, the Chiefs already won. Taylor Swift's boyfriend won the Super Bowl. Congrats to Taylor Swift's boyfriend. Um, not gonna lie, kind of wanted the 49ers to win. I like Brock Purdy. He's a uh, sounds to be like a cool, pretty cool dude. It's a tough loss for him, but I'm sure he'll be all right. All right, let's do this again. You just gotta find them, really. I might need to add some split shot to the bottom of my rig. I wasn't anticipating the um, water to be moving this much. So we'll see, we'll see if we can get some bites. I might start casting it out where it's shallow, considering. But let's do a few casts here. 
of squirrels are up there right now. Now, <clears throat> time. Um, one of the things that kept me from fishing is the fact that, and some of you might already know this, I had a baby. And my wife, me and my wife, we delivered, um, me and my wife had our third kid. She's a beautiful baby girl. She has tons and tons of energy. And she's been keeping us awake a lot more than usual. It's not a bad thing. Um, she's doing what babies do, but because of that, um, the time I have available to edit has been a lot less lately. So, um, testing out this new video format, going uncut, is going to make it easier for me to put videos out more consistently, to um, have less time or to be able to edit a video in the less time that I have now. So, uh, just testing it out. And if you guys like it, we'll keep doing it. If not, you know, we'll figure something out. But yeah, that's the, the big change in my life is that we ended up having a baby earlier this year and um, it's been great. It just means a lot more time focusing on the baby, being a little bit more um, focused on how I'm spending my time don't have enough time uh, don't have as much time to be messing around with uh editing and stuff like that so i've been doing my best to streamline all of my editing processes basically not just for youtube videos but for all of my social media posts and stuff like that finding time for that has been the most recent challenge um from this but otherwise it's been good um baby's healthy mama's healthy um older brother and sister are also doing really well they enjoy having the baby around so it's been really exciting been really good um just gotta catch some fish now which i don't think my lure is getting down low enough so i'm gonna put some split shot on real quick this is a 180th ounce jig so it's not that heavy um and it seems to be staying towards the top and i only know that because i can see the bobber stop and i don't see it hitting the bottom so let's hope that i brought um the weights yes i do awesome i love this little pro pack because it has a bunch of different sizes i don't think i need anything too crazy heavy i'm gonna go with this one here are gonna put it right about here pinch that sucker on like so a little bit heavier oof I goofed that one up let's get the pliers on redo that I didn't catch the line, so now that it's sliding up and down, which I don't want. So let's open it back up. And let's make sure we pinch it on the line this time. So that it won't be moving around as much. Oh, and of course we drop it. It fell into my bag, I heard that. But we're just gonna grab a new one. Like I said, all this is staying in. I'm not gonna cut it out just cause I'm over here struggling with my stuff. There we go, that's a little better. Let's slide it up a little bit. Oh man, it came off. Come on. struggling with the split shot like i said it's been a while since i've been fishing and i know i'm not even using the right pliers i should be using my other heavy duty pliers but 
I don't want to pull them out. Uh, all right. Uh, let's find them. I hope I have them. I don't even know if I have them on me. To be honest, I kind of just grabbed a bunch of stuff and came out. Okay, good, I do. I just dropped the plastic. Pick that up. We don't want a litter. Alright. Now, we have the right pliers to do what we want to do. We just want to crimp it so that it's not sliding around anymore. That's all we want to do. I'm struggle busting right now. Normally this is the kind of stuff I would edit out because who wants to see me fumble with this stuff? But like I said, we're going to leave it in, boys. Still can't seem to figure this out. All right, there we go. Nope. <laughs> okay, that one fell on the ground. We're gonna find that one. I felt it hitting my boot. Man, somebody dropped a bunch of candies around here. Here it is. I found it. Nope, that wasn't it. That was a rock. Wow, it's gone, gone. I felt it hit my boot, and now it's gone. I'm going to spend a little bit of time looking for it, because I don't want to leave it here. I'm going to bounce anywhere and all this stuff. Literally could have gone anywhere. Let's keep looking. Nope, still not seeing it. Over here, maybe? I don't know. Is that it? Nope. Oh, there it is. Nice. Found it. Whew. I was getting worried there for a minute. I was like, oh my goodness. I'm not going to find it. All right. All right. <laughs> Let's go back to struggle busting it. All right. Here. It is. We want to crimp it. Right? I dropped it again. You've got to be kidding me. So far, you guys have seen me. Here it is. I found it. You guys have seen me not catch any fish. Now I'm all tangled up in my line. So far, you guys have seen me not catch any fish. You guys have seen me drop a sinker twice, three times actually now, and can't seem to freaking crimp this thing right. You know what? Maybe it's because I'm using too big of a of a sinker. All right. We're going to go right there. We're going to say that's right. That looks good. It's in place. It's not sliding down. Let's catch a fish, why don't we? <clears throat> now that we got that all settled, let's cast her out there. There we go. Wow. There we go. Already got one. That was crazy fast. 
I knew it. It wasn't getting down far enough. That was insane. Look at that. Just instant. Nice bluegill. That's what I'm talking about. I had a feeling that the lure was not getting down low enough. Now we're gonna take a little time with this guy. This is the first fish of the year right here. Like I said, I haven't been fishing in almost two months now and super pumped to have gotten this guy. So we're gonna give him a little bit of love. We're gonna take a little picture. First fish of the year, super pumped. Look, he's got some red, um, not some red, some black bands going down there. So that means it's a male pumped. Let's get this thing back in the water. Do a nice little release right in here. There he goes. It's gone. It's cold. That thing hit instantly. Let's cast it right back out there. See what happens. I had a feeling that the lure wasn't getting down. Got a bite. Got another one. Yeah, buddy. It took a while to get this show going, but we're going now. Oh, man. This one's nice putting up a good fight a really good fight oh yeah these boys are long i might measure this one this boy feels real long calm down i do have my measuring board with me that's number two we're coming up on them real good now let's put them on a measuring board Let's do that real quick. I have it with me. I just have to pull it out. <clears throat> At least I think I have it with me. Let's see. I do. Oh, it's getting wildly on me. All right. This old school little Rapala measuring board. Let's take a look, see. Oh, 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 come on, come on, calm down, calm down, calm down. There we go. He's nice and calm now, now that he's covered in junk. Let's, uh, let's get a quick measurement and then we'll put him back. All right, sitting at about, about eight inches, not bad. Not a bad fish. All right, you flopped around a lot. And you're covered in stuff. Super sorry about that. We're gonna put you back. Boop. That's number two. Uh, let's take a look at our bait. Oh, we got snagged up everywhere. Worm's still looking good. Uh, fish are starting to bite. Let's see, let's see. Let's see if we can get another one out there. Wow. I love how visible that float is too. Still no bite, let's reel it in a little bit. nothing oh oh some some got it right there at the last second they might have took my worm oh nope come on take it don't just play with it it's dancing it's dancing oh it might be tiny there we go got it got it where are you going yeah buddy this is what I've been missing. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Look at how round this one is and the colors on it, man. So beautiful. All right. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Look at that guy. Oh, that gummit. Ah. Uh. One second. Why? Why you gotta be like that, huh? 
Why you gotta be like that? Uh, there we go. Come on, buddy. Don't be all crazy. Get another one for the show. All right, let's send him back. Boop. They're extra slippery today. We still got worm on it. We're gonna send it right back out there. Let's see where else we can catch them at. There are bass in, oh, oh. There are bass in here too. Got one. Ooh, this one feels good. This one feels really good. What is this? It's way out there. I think it's a bluegill. Yep, it's a bluegill. Ah, there we go. Talk about bite after bite. Look at that. Another one. Another nice one. I'm down. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't sure if I was gonna catch any today. Look at that. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. This one seems a little bit longer than the eight incher that we caught earlier. Thin, but long. Let's throw it on the board and let's take a quick little look-see. Just a quick one. Oh no, it's shorter. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's definitely shorter. It's like an, it's like seven, seven and a quarter. I mean, seven three eighths. We're gonna take the whole board so it doesn't fly off, and we're just gonna put them back in. Boop. There we go. Woo. Heck yeah, we're finding them now. All right, we gotta fix our stuff. Obviously, the weight and the float are all down on the bottom. We don't want that. We're gonna slide her on back up, just like that. All right, let's see, let's see. Let's see what else is out there. They're biting, they're biting. Ooh, got it. That one basically hooked himself. There we go, good fight. Gotta avoid these trees in here. There's some branches in here. This one, tiny guy. Tiny guy had the fight of a giant. He's back in the water. Oh, he's got stuck in this mud. Let's get him out of this mud. <sighs> Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. I'm trying to help you. <sighs> here we go. Another one. Bloop. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie. I was a little concerned that we weren't going to catch anything, but catch after catch after catch right now. I just needed to get down a little lower. Let's see. Some of them are like instant. Some of them take a little bit. Like this one, this one's taking some time. I might not even have a worm. I didn't even check to be honest. Oh, that could have been the wind. I don't even know if you guys can hear me right now. I have some wind muffs on it, but I don't know how good they're working. I knew today was gonna be super windy, so I put some wind muffs on the camera. Um, but we'll see. Let's see, let's see, nothing here. This might be the first cast we send out there and don't get a bite again. That'll be a bummer. This video was starting off slow. I was hoping it was gonna start off faster, but I'm fumbling with stuff. Can't get split shot on. But hey, we're starting to get bites now. Oh snap, a branch fell off of that tree above me. This might not be the best spot to stand. If the bite slows down here though, we might move somewhere else. Maybe to the other side. I love these peg floats. They're super visible way out there. They're lightweight. So when a fish does take a bite, they don't let go. It's good stuff. 
Again, I didn't check for a worm. For all I know, there's this is a bare hook down there. But we're gonna we're gonna let it sit out there. Just reel it in every now and again. But how have y'all been? Anything good? New fishing resolutions for the year? Like I said, this is my first time out. It's February already. It's almost mid-February. And, uh, yeah, 2024 has been flying by. We are on the cusp of 10,000 subscribers. We're at about, we're like a few shy of 9,000. So I'm going to say we're right there at 10,000, basically. Um, super pumped and super thankful for each one of you guys that have been subscribing and watching and engaging with the content. Um, I have some things planned for this year if time allows. Try some new things, some BFS content. I don't think I have a worm at the end of this. I do, I do have a worm, but it's like the tiniest little bit. All right. And it's practically dead. All right, we're gonna we're gonna cast it over there where the fish were biting. See if that's what's going on. We're gonna also fix the split shot again. I'll put it right around here. There we go. Like I was saying, have some BFS content. Um, last year I bought a BFS rod. Um, because it was on, on a good price and it was something that I did want to start messing around with just never got around to buying the reels um, for it this year I bought the reels in fact I bought them yesterday I bought two reels I'm not gonna say which ones I got um, but I will tell you one of them is popular here in the US um, easily available you can find it online um, the other one is an import ooh that was the slowest little sink I've ever seen. That could have been me though. Wow, what was that? The other one is an import. Um, bought them both on Ali, Ali, AliExpress? AliExpress? I don't know how you say it. AliExpress. Um, should get here by the end of the month going into March. Super pumped to start messing with that. I don't know how well I'm going to do. I'm not that good with the bait caster, to be honest, already. Oof hook oh that dropped i had too much line out there come on come on take the bait take it anyways as i was saying i don't know how good i'll do i'm not that good with the bait caster um partially because i don't really use them that much uh, I use them when I go bass fishing, but I don't really go bass fishing, like traditional bass fishing, power fishing that often. Last year, I think I probably did it the most, but even then, a majority of my time was spent ultralight fishing, or at least with the spinning rod in my hand. So um, we'll see how it goes with the BFS rod. Got one, got one, yes. Ooh, that's a good one. Nice, 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 nice. Good fight. I don't even know what it is. What? <laughs> a nice bluegill. I love this. I love catching these. Alrighty. Come on, buddy. Don't spine me. Don't do anything crazy. Alright. I'm going to put you back. You just got to let me get a picture first. I'm documenting all of my first fish for this year. Another thing I'm doing now, and I just started it, is a fish log. Um, and I don't mean like a digital one or using these videos as a fish log. See you later. I mean like a traditional written analog fish log. And I started it... Um, while I was on leave after a baby was born, I started backlogging all of my fishing trips before I even started making content. Um, I got through quite a bit because I really wasn't catching that many fish to be honest. So it was pretty easy. Um, 
now I just have to keep going through and adding stuff to it but um, I want to start keeping an analog fish log one of my goals for this year is to funny enough be a little bit more analog be less digital in my personal life and that means writing things down um, I have a watch now that's not a smart watch it's just a regular watch keeps time has a light so I can read it in the dark and tells me the date but that's literally about all it does um, also have been using my phone a lot less outside of like posting content engaging with you guys so that's one of the things I've been working on just trying to be less digital be on screens a lot less because in my day job I'm on a computer all day like eight hours a day and then I'm editing uh, in the morning or at night and then I have like little side jobs here and there that I do and I just spend a lot of time in front of a screen I want to limit that as much as possible if I can so um, I started keeping a log and um, I came up with my own template I literally just bought a blank journal and came up with my own template what I'm tracking things like that with some inspiration from other things that are out there and um, the plan is to fill it up fill it up with all the fish that I've caught over the past four years of fishing and all the fish that I'm going to catch in the future. I just had a bite. That thing went down really quickly. I thought it might have been a um, the waves, the, the current, the wind, whatever. But that looked like an actual bite for a second. Let's see if we ended up getting something. So far, these worms are working. I might get a little crazy here for a hot minute and try a donkey tail maybe see if that works for 10 minutes maybe put some scent on it yeah I think I might do that let's see how much warm I have left Believe it or not, it actually gets quite deep out there. Ooh, that looked like a hit. Um, probably like another two, three feet past where the float is now. There's like a huge drop off. It drops off to like 15 feet. Um, so the fish could be stacked anywhere in there. Um, the water is really cold. I don't know the exact temperature, but it is pretty cold. When I touch these fish, they are freezing. Let's see. Ooh, ooh. Come on. Come on. Let's see what you got. Don't just play with it. We might have lost our worm. No, we still have the worm. Hmm. This worm looks like it's toast, so we're going to give these fish a free meal. And we're going to try, we're going to try a lure. <clears throat> we're going to try pasture fire. Is this pasture fire? Yeah, this is the pasture fire. Um, Donkey Tail Jr. It's about the same color as a night crawler. We're gonna keep the same small hook. It seems to be working well. And we're gonna see if this works. As well as the um, the worms were. I am gonna give it a little help though by um, putting some scent on it. <sighs> Sense of choice is this wonderful Procure Crappie Panfish Magic. Ow, that hook is digging into my skin. Let's give me a little bit more line here and not get all tangled up in this brush. 
I like this. I've been having this one for about two years now, and it works really well in the winter time and the cold. And it's a nice little gel. You put it on the lure, you spread it around. I like to use the tip to spread it, and uh, it gets the job done. You know, we put it everywhere we can. Get a bit as much coverage. Don't use too much. Don't use too little. Don't be stingy. Don't be greedy. Feed the needy. <sighs> Alright. Oh, I'm all tangled up and stuff now. How? How does this work? Alright. I think I'm free? No, I'm not. Ah. Gotta love that high vis line. Got snagged up in this branch. Let's get free of this branch. Okay, now we're snagged up in our own line. Like a yo yo trick. Alright. Ba ba bum. Come on. I said ba ba da bum. There we go. We're free now. Alright. That weight is way too high up there. I don't like how high it is. I'm going to bring it down a little bit right around there. That's good. Now my hands are covered in this procure stuff. Let's rub it on a tree branch. Alright. Let's see if this does as well as a night crawler. I think it might, but we'll see. Wow. Yep. Already getting hit. And we got one. Yep. See, I say it all the time. The donkey tail... Just, just works. That was super fast. About as fast as with the worms. And it's got a big head. Check this boy out. Look at that. Inhaled that thing. Just took it straight down its gullet. Look at that. All right. We're going to get one for the gram. Come on now. Let's calm down a bit. Let's calm down a bit. I'll tell you what, this is my first time using high vis line. And uh, I haven't really noticed a big difference. Boop. Come on now. This one's really in there. Man, this thing is in there. This is why it's good to get some hemostats. Come down, fish. Let me let you out. Oof, oof. All right, buddy. We're gonna put you back. All right, sorry about that. Camera decided it wanted to over, overheat. Um, funny how that works. I, uh, just to get, a, uh, not to get technical on you guys, but I was shooting in 4K, just cause I like 4K and uh, already got a bite. Yes, oh, I lost it. That's what I get for not paying attention. I was shooting in 4K and got one. There we go, came back for it. And sometimes, if it's standing in the light, which it is right now, it's getting hit by the sun. Um, 4K and getting directly hit by the sun does not always mix. So, man, check that guy out. Little guy, good fight. So, they are inhaling this thing. They're eating it a lot deeper than with the, um, with the worm. 
whatever the scent is made out of procure they like it they like it a lot but anyways as i was saying 4k direct sunlight does not work too well so lower the settings uh, you guys aren't going to notice the difference but i lowered the settings so hopefully it doesn't overheat again i'm only planning on being out here for 20 more minutes anyway so we will see but so far we're catching fish gotta hit i felt that one man that wind is just taking it Goodness, there we go, got a hit. Come on, don't just nibble at it. Uh, let's fix you up. I think that weight, yeah, that weight's just right on it. So it's, fish don't like it when the weight's right on top. I might have to refix the weight, it's not. There we go, it's still staying in place. Fish don't really like it when they feel the weight. Uh, I am using a heavier switch out than normal just because of the current and the wind, but if a fish picks up this lure and they feel that weight, that pullback, um, they're going to let it go instantly. Do I have one? Nope. They know something's off. Something doesn't feel natural, doesn't feel right. So they're like, yeah, this ain't food. And they'll let it go. The overheating situation is exactly why I'm actually looking into a new action camera. I'm not going to say which one it is. I've been thinking about it for a long time now. Just got to wait for the funds to align the right way so I can make that purchase. But hopefully that should fix that overheating issue. Come on now. I know you're still out there. Don't stop biting now. We've got a couple really quick bites. And now they have seemed to have stopped. That weight keeps falling down. That's the problem. I think that's what the problem is. Alright. Keep trying to hand tighten it, but I don't think it's enough. So, we're going to cast it out like this. See if we can get another bite. If that doesn't work, we'll tighten it up with the pliers. Oh. Got one. Oh, had one. They must have let go right when I set the hook. I also have to stop setting the hook like I'm bass fishing or something. Because, man, I feel like I've pulled it out of a fish's mouth once or twice already. Yep, back on it. Okay, we gotta fix this. We're gonna fix this. <clears throat> gonna get the pliers. I'm gonna tighten them up. Just like that. I don't need it to move at all, actually. I just need it to stay in one place. And that is the place I want it to stay. Uh, this slip float rig is super easy to set up. I did a video on how to set it up. And uh, I'll probably link it somewhere so you can go watch it if you want to learn how to set up a slip float rig. Um, got one. Uh, 
missed it. Something's taking it down, but not. There we go. There we go. Finally got one to commit. There we go, Big Daddy. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Bluegill City, baby. This one's pale. This one's real pale. Might have been out deep. How did I get you? It's like I snagged you. No, no. I got you. I got you the right way. There we go. Smallest of the day. We're going to put him back. Bloop. But like I was saying, it's a super nice rig. As you can tell, I can uh, set my... Oh, I got the bead stuck. Whoops. I can set my distance or my depth with that bobber stop to whatever I want it to be. And it just gives me the ability to like be a little bit more flexible. The only downside is... Um, I have to fish this rig. It's not like, uh, there we go. Ooh, come on. They're dancing with it. Just take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Come on. There we go. Got one. Got another one. Yeah, buddy. Uh, it's not a big one, but it's fighting really good. Oh, actually... Not a bad one either. It's a good size one. I sold it short. It's a nice one. It is a nice one indeed. I have not worn a GoPro and so oh, that one got me wet. Let's go. Come on. There we go. I've not worn a GoPro in so long. That I don't know if half of these fish have been in frame or not, but a nice little guy. This will be good catfish bait. We're gonna put him back. Spin move. That donkey tail junior's putting in work, baby. Uh oh, whoops. So look, see that uh, bobber stop went into the eyelets. That's why I like this rod for slip foot fishing, because I can put it as far down as I want to. If I wanted to fish all the way down 15 feet, I could here. Um, that's why I like to use it But like I was saying the only downside is you're kind of stuck with it um, If you plan on being a little bit more flexible I do recommend two rods that way you can have one with the float rig on and you can have one without it Ooh, Buddy, there we go. There we go. Nice. Oh This one's putting up a good fight. What are you you're heavy? You are swimming everywhere Look at that. Are you a big bluegill? Yep, you are a nice biting bluegill. This is a tank. This is a straight up tank. Look at this guy. Big old head, long body, man. All right, we're gonna get you loose. And then we're gonna put you on the measuring board. Cause I want to see how long you are. You might be longer than eight inches. And if that's the case, let's document it. Here we go. Calm down. Yeah, you're way past eight. You are eight and eight and three-fourths almost nine whoa <laughs> calm down calm down <sighs> nice one they get big in here it's probably why there's not that many bass this pond uh, does have bass but they're all pretty small they're all dinks um, I know in the past People have caught some decent bass in here, like some nice three, four pounders out of here, but um, I haven't really seen them much since. Um, also, there's a, I think there's a family of river otters that lives here, and I know they're not helping with the uh, bait fish population. So these bluegill, the river otters, makes it hard for small bass to 
grow big and strong. Ooh, instant hit. Instant hit. My goodness. Also, there's catfish. This guy's fighting. Oh, speak of the devil. Look at him. Little Largy coming up. <laughs> Not tired of that. He was barely hooked. Look at the colors. That's a beautiful large mouth. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous little Largy. It's feeding. It's got red on his lips. Maybe they're putting on getting ready for spring. It has been warm. Um, there was a nice little warm streak not too long ago. Right now it's in the 50s. It's not terribly cold. If I wasn't wearing this jacket, I'd probably be a little bit cold. But it's not bad. Let's see how much time we got left. We still got some time. Oh, I lost my float. That's what I get for not paying attention. And I lost the fish. Daggum. I set the hook too hard. Let's take a look. All right, we're doing all right. Oh, my my uh, split shot moved way up there. Why'd that happen? Let's uh, pull it back down, why don't we? I don't want it that high up. There we go. Whoa, that wind. That wind sent it way out there. Goodness. I think I have a fish. Goodness, this wind. Ah! That made that difficult. All right, let's see if we can use this wind to our advantage. Ow, I just got something in my eye. Jeez. Ow. Give me a minute, y'all. Did I get it? Yeah, I think I did. Woo! Uh, let's try it over there. Let's see if we can find another pocket of bluegills. Another school of bluegill. How big is a school? Do you think? Like, I mean, like, like an actual like range. Like, how wide can a school of bluegill be? I guess it depends on the population, um, or the size of the pond too. But we'll see. This wind is blowing now. It's blowing so hard that my bobber has yet to hit the bobber stop. I can see it. I can see the bead being away. Now it's hit the bobber stop. But I don't think there's any fish right in front. But what do I know? Oh. It's stuck in place. Maybe it's snagged on something. I don't know. We're going to send it way out there again. That's where I seem to be catching all the fish. Whatever was in my eye. Still in my eye. It's like a piece of dirt. That really hurt. We got about 10 more minutes. Let's see if we can catch maybe like two or three more. Not trying to be greedy. I honestly don't even know how many we've caught. I know we caught a bunch with the worm and now we've caught at least three, maybe even four with the Donkey Tail Jr. Kind of at the same speed too, at the same rate. So like I said, goes to show you. These Donkey Tail Juniors, man, they catch fish. With a little bit of scent, they catch fish. I think the weight might have hit the bottom. Let's see. I kind of want to try closer to that stump or whatever sticking out, but I don't know if I can cast that far. And I also don't want to move.
Hmm. Not, not good. Let's move it back up. That seemed to be where they liked it. Oh, that's the problem. Look at my donkey tail. That's the thing about plastics versus worms. That is not gonna get bit. The boot is stuck. It's just not gonna get bit. Oh, I have a scale stuck there or something. Let's get that off. That could stop me from hooking into a fish. There we go. If your boot is not moving correctly, it's not gonna have action. And when you have night crawlers, it's not that big of a deal because the night crawler is gonna move naturally. But if you have a soft plastic, that action is super important to getting a hit. Because right now, for example, it's suspended underneath the float and the tail is just doing probably light movements like this with the current and that is giving it some realistic action. Um, with it being bent over like it was, fish probably looked at it and was like, nah, I don't want that. That doesn't look delicious. So let's see. Let's see if we can get running out of time. Oh, 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 got one. Yeah, buddy. And I didn't even need to set the hook, to be honest. That's the thing with such a small hook. This is a 180th ounce mule jig. It's got like a size eight hook, maybe? I don't know. Ethan, you're gonna have to keep me honest, but these fish basically hook themselves. Oh my goodness, what did you do? Why? Why are you upside down right now? Roop, let's try and fix you. I don't like this, this looks painful for you. Ah, come on, don't spine me. I'm trying to help. There we go. There we go. All right, let's get you free. Come on now. All right, another beautiful bluegill. I love, I love bluegill fishing. I will never get tired of this. If you can't have fun bluegill fishing, I don't think we could be friends, to be honest. I mean, we'll still be friends, but I will look at you a certain way. That lets me know. This person, this person just does not fit my vibe of catching fish. Another one, another one. Yo, gosh, that one rips some drag. Yeah, buddy. It's probably the smallest bluegill too. The tiniest little guy, I'm sure. No, 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 not the tiniest, but he ain't that big. Oh, wait, I was wrong. He's actually a decent size. Probably about like another seven, eight incher. Just chilling here. Nice, nice, nice. Calm down, buddy. Calm down. There we go. Another one. This wind is starting to pick up. How much time we got left? Let's see if we can get one more. See, that, that goes to show you that the action, the action is very important for a soft plastic. The wind is picking up. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, I have no idea where my lure just went. I cannot see my float. Oh, now I see the float. That thing just like kind of disappeared on me for a second. Now what's happening? Da 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 da. I don't think there's any fish out there. I don't know if there's any fish that far out. But we're gonna see. Oh, 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 oh. And hooked up. Nope. Missed it. Let's see if we can get another bat on this lure. There we go. There we go. Just got to reel sometimes to set the hook. Ah, especially when you're using a small hook like this. This one's giving me some good head shakes. Whoa. I was worried he's going to tie me up in that branch right in front of us. Nice. Nice little bluegill. I'm not going to lie. At first I was a little concerned that the color of this line might cause the fish to not want to bite, but... So far, it hasn't been a problem. Come on, buddy. Sticky hooks. Very sticky hooks. 
So far so good. I am liking it. I am loving it. I am wanting some more of it. Nice big cast out there. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. I keep thinking that I'm getting bites, but it's just the rod bumping into my shirt. Ba -ba -da -bum. Bum -ba -da -bum. What'd y'all think of the Super Bowl? I thought it was all right. Um, like I said, I wanted the 49ers to win. I like Brock Purdy. He's a cool dude. I like Christian McCaffrey. I try to get him in my fantasy league every year. Um, it's a bummer that they lost. Um, we didn't really watch many of the commercials because um, we got young kids and we don't really care to explain certain things to them at this point in time. They're really young and um, yeah, we're sheltering them because we want to. Uh, I did watch some of the commercials later, some of the movie trailers later, and I'm super pumped for Twisters. Uh, I've been a huge fan of the original Twister. Um, it's one of my favorite movies growing up. I'd watch it all the time. So the fact that there's another one coming out, that makes me pumped, which is funny because if I, man, I, I feel like I remember a Twister 2 at one point coming out that was like straight to TV. Um, that wasn't as good so hopefully this one is good but we'll see i'm pumped for it let me know what, what what did you like did you see any commercials you liked um any trailers movie trailers commercials oh i like the chris pratt pringles one too um i feel like a lot of people give chris pratt some crap um just because he's kind of been everywhere lately he's like the golden boy and people like to hate on the golden boy sometimes i don't know i feel like he just gets a lot of undue hate so um i like the sprinkles commercial what other commercial did i like i think that might have been the only other one that really stuck out to me like i said i didn't really get to watch many of them the christopher walken one it wasn't bad <sighs> something had it and let it go or maybe i was just snagged on something the christopher walken commercial was pretty good where everybody's doing his impressions. Um, the Duncan one was funny. I like that one. I'm trying to think, what else? Halftime show wasn't bad. I mean, it was Usher. I mean, I, I grew up listening to Usher. Let me know, did you grow up listening to Usher? Or is he like classic R&B for you now? Um, what else, what else, what else? I feel like there was another commercial that I really liked. I am snagged on something. Yep, snagged. That was a snag. I could feel it. I could feel the snag. All right. Let's try and end it on one more. Got it. Nice one. Oh, this one took me on a run. You're big. If you're a bluegill, you're either really big or just got a lot of fight because you are dogging me right now. A little bit of both. Nice size bluegill with a good fight. Hello. Oh, it's nice and thick, looking healthy. Putting on a feed, wow, that's interesting. You got a nice scar there. We're gonna get you loose, get you back in the water. Thank you for coming and saying hi to your beautiful purples and your beautiful colors. Loop. And uh, yeah, this was fun. Like I said, it's gonna be uncut. Let me talk to you face to face for a hot minute real quick. Um, let's go. I plan on doing this a lot more, doing some uncut videos like this. 
just to make it easier for me to edit and if this is entertaining for you guys to watch then awesome full disclosure if it's slower than it was this i will probably just cut it up into a shorter video i don't know you guys tell me if it's something that you guys want to watch whether i'm catching a ton of fish or just spend an hour two hours and only catch a few fish let me know i have a ton of kayak trips planned this year hopefully meeting up with some other people to fish with them um, we'll see this year's bringing a lot of changes already with the new baby um, we might be moving it really depends on if we're going to stay in this area or move somewhere else but it's exciting 2024 is exciting 10,000 subscribers are right around the corner uh, tons of giveaways if you want to join the monthly giveaway all you got to do is subscribe to my newsletter you can do that in the description down below and everything i use will be linked down in the description thank you guys for watching i will catch you guys on the next one